Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome to my Unreal Engine 4 Atomic Tutorial Series. Uh, this tutorial series is broken up in no particular order, and teaches you a bunch of small stuff um, about working with uh, Unreal Engine, with, uh, well, whatever. But in this particular video, we're going to be talking about exporting from Blender to uh, Unreal Engine 4. So, um, I'm going to go on ahead and get rid of both of these and just hit X and I'm using Blender 2.7 uh, it's fine if you're not um, it should work and we already have an FBX exporter which is what we want to use now um, let's go on ahead and use the let's go on ahead and just export this out just so we can you know see it and, you know alright so we're just gonna export send it to the desktop we just want to sec uh, we just want the mesh of what's selected. So if we cancel here, we'll select our cube, FBX, selected objects. And you can set up presets like you can click this here and type uh LNG4 dash static mesh. And hit OK and then select this and so forth. And we don't need all of this stuff either, but we're gonna leave it. Now um, one thing you can do is you could change the scale right here and you could you know, fix the problem you're about to see uh, by adjusting the scale here, but that is the wrong way to do it. Uh, mostly because uh, it could, especially when you're dealing with skeletal meshes later, you know, meshes with bones, um, it could cause a lot of problems. So now we're going to switch back over to Unreal. And we are going to import an asset, and we're going to import cube.fbx, and we're just going to leave all this at default for right now. And we're going to import, and it's going to warn us that our version is outdated and could cause issues. Now, this is true. Uh, it could cause issues. However, uh, I've been doing a fair bit with it, not with this project, and you guys can ignore the towers. Help it a friend. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, I haven't really noticed any problems. So now you can see that our cube is really, really small. And that's not good at all. So that's not what we want. It's way too small. We need to get to Unreal Engine scale. Now, the default Unreal Engine scale um, can be anything you want so long as you stick to something consistent. However, the default one that Epic uses is one Unreal unit is equal to one centimeter. So, how do we get this? By default, Blender uses Blender units, and Blender unit is a Blender unit. It has no real metric to it. So what we're going to do is go over here uh, to this tab, to the Scene tab, and we're going to get rid of all these because obviously, as you can see, we're definitely going to use units. And we're going to switch it to Metric, and with your mouse over here, hit N in the 3D view. And as you can see, when we switch over to Metrics, suddenly we're at 2 meters. Now remember, we want one unit to be one centimeter. So we need to set the scale to 0 0.005. And then you'll see one centimeter. And our cube becomes immensely small, and the grid gets really kind of out there. So uh, we're going to set this to, say, 75. That'll let us see our uh, cube, no problem. And now we're going to scroll down here. And... Uh, do you believe there we go it's display and I'm going to increase the grid size a little bit there okay now it doesn't matter if you increase the grid scale for the uh, the snapping in your 3d viewport for those of you who are already experienced with Blender and probably already know this it's not going to change much in your 3d viewport um, but you'll most likely be working in all the other uh, modes so okay so now what we're gonna do is for the scale right here I'm just gonna set this to 50 50 50 and I'll make it 50 centimeters okay and now we're gonna use file export FBX we're not gonna bother with anything else and we're just gonna override our cube now, uh, this is one problem I haven't been able to fix, and uh, I'm still working on it. I'm sure it's something I'm missing. Is that 50 centimeters is half a meter, and yet 
in the actual engine it ends up being it works the same size well we'll see we'll see uh, let's import our cube import close out of that we'll just drag and drop our cube into our scene we'll just pull it up hit the end key to drop it straight down and as you can see we have a nice sizable cube i'm gonna hit the g key to get rid of uh we'll go into game view and i'm gonna drag a box in and i'm gonna set it to 100 100 100 i'm gonna drag it up hit end and now i'm just going to try to position it as best as i can i'm actually gonna go to unlit mode here so we can see this without the annoying shadows in the way so uh as you guys can see the cubes they match up perfect perfect size they both are um, well, tiled with the floor, and our cube is actually, well, it's fine in the position it's at, uh, X and Y, it doesn't really matter, but as you can see, we have a brush that has 100, 100, 100, and when we export our Blender cube, we have, uh, an exact perfect scale. So, uh, as I said before, uh, just remember that the more important thing is making sure that whatever scale you set you start with like when you start your game the tremendously important thing is to stick with that scale do not deviate from that scale for anything because if you stick with it and you model everything based on this then when you go into unreal they're all going to snap so you'll be able to you know you take advantage of the snap tools as you can see here they just they snap and line up perfectly All right, so um, that is all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it ends up proving to be very useful to all of you later on down the road. I look forward to seeing you guys in more Unreal Engine 4 uh, videos and with lots more tutorials. If you have any suggestions for tutorial, let me know, and um, I'll get right on that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe. As well, also, don't forget to uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, join the Steam group, and also my own website if you have questions about anything in relation to Unreal Engine. And, of course, you can also ask at the Unreal Engine forums. Thank you.